Hi everyone, I'm Mana. Today's topic is the frenemy. A frenemy is a person who is your friend but can sometimes throw shade at you or turn into your enemy because of something that makes them uncomfortable about you. This time, I want to mention that not only your friends but also your co workers and the people who work for you or with you. Could potentially become your frenemy. When you were young, you probably had times when you fought with your friend and didn't talk to each other for a while, but usually you would eventually make up and be friends again. But frenemies are a different story. They can be silent killers who throw shade when they feel uncomfortable around you. And in the worst case scenario, they may try to ruin your career and dreams, or even try to separate you from your friends. These people may seem nice and、uh, even may even depend on you, respect you, but suddenly they become toxic towards you. Let me share two stories about my experiences with frenemies and offer an advice on how to avoid toxic people like them. And I will outline the actions and tips that can help you navigate such a situation. The first story I would like to share is when I was in my 20s, I was working in an organic donut shop in New York City. The company was keen to expand the brand to Japan, and thus I was selected as a leader of a small team of Japanese staff to learn the craft of making donut making. Altogether, there were four of us from Japan who headed for New York City, and we all stayed together in a small apartment. And I shared a room with one of my co workers who had a good relationship with me. But The major issue was that nobody except me could speak English. They relied on me to help them learn the techniques of、uh, making donuts, which was fun enough. The work was a real slog, and we hardly had any time to sleep or relax. We had, as we had a massive mission ahead of us. But I could communicate with local staff, so I enjoyed the work, even though it was a hard work. I was studying English while they're sleeping because I had two ambitions to become a donut artisan and a translator. But everyone started to feel stressed out day by day, and tensions were beginning to grow. And eventually, my roommate. Complained about a situation to our boss behind my back. Surprisingly, what she said was about me. <laughs> she claimed that I didn't look after our team at all and I was having too much of a good time with the local staff, leaving her high and dry. <laughs> Obviously, she was jealous of me. And unfortunately, the other Japanese staff agreed with our opinion, and as they felt intense pressure and、um, tiredness and wanted to blame somebody, they might have thought that I enjoyed my work very much because I went out for meals with one of the local staff once a week on my day off. But It was the only way to blow some steam. Why didn't she tell me anything about her feelings? She never showed her weakness to me. And suddenly, she turned into an enemy. <laughs> This situation became worse for me in the end. The only solution they could come up with was for me to resign. I thought. I thought that they needed more rest. Of course, I still don't know exactly what she said to the boss, but I thought how scary people's jealousy can be. 
after I resigned, she promoted and get my position. I had my dream of staying, staying in New York City taken away from me. What the irony! When you stand out from others or have greater skills than others, you have to be more careful about the people around you. They rely on you and expect more from you than you might think. The bigger their expectations, the more toxic they can become if they are disappointed in your behavior. Let's go on to my second story. I had a friend from culinary school who was very friendly and often referred to me as a best friend. We traveled together after graduating and she would frequently call me every time she quit a job, asking if I could introduce her to my workplace or if she could join my workplace. Although she sometimes uh, found her job on her own, but she never kept it for long and started to depend on me. We worked together at the same restaurant three times, but every time she joined my workplace, she would complain about the work and environment and soon quit. She also made negative comments about me to our friends, though she begged me to find a job but she would still say things like Mana asked me to walk with her but she couldn't handle me she would disappear from my life after quitting a job but she she would reappear when she couldn't keep her new job <laughs> i felt like she never took a good look at herself and uh, always shifted the blame onto others Whenever something went wrong, she always pointed fingers without admitting her own fault. When she was feeling anxious, she would rely on me for support. Honestly, she was kind of toxic, so I had to cut her out of my life. I can tell that we can't avoid such these toxic people but it's possible to turn your friends into frenemies if you don't show kindness towards them. Especially they feel, if they feel um, inferior to you, this can lead to feelings of jealousy and resentment. My fault in these stories was that um, maybe I didn't have enough respect for them and I realized that um, I might not have been considerate uh, enough of their feelings when they were going through difficult times. But there are also times when you can't always take care of them and you feel overwhelmed. If you don't think you are at fault in a situation, then be resolute and true to yourself. The most important things are being your true self and enjoying your time. Thank you so much for watching my video until the end. I would be happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye! Let the freak inside of me show you that love for more than the moment. Heaven is here for you and me. Don't